Is there anything you think we need to do to qualify for the unseen help? What what does that look like or anything maybe that activates it? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a spiritual answer to that. And then there's like, a, I don't know, ontological or scientific approach to that. And they both fit, truth fits, okay. But I think the spiritual answer to that is to exercise some faith in God, you know, to trust, to acknowledge his hand in our life. I think to um, be grateful, to start with gratitude. If you're desperate and you're needing help, to start first with gratitude and get in that place of humility and uh, appreciation. I think that invites the unseen help to participate in, in your efforts. Um, but then also there's a, you know, we were, we've got these bodies that are a tool of our mind and spirit, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times I think we don't understand how much that plays a part in our, our overcoming challenges and achieving goals. And what I mean by that is this, um, we, we choose our thoughts we choose to think a certain way about what's happening. And that choice can be faith, it can be worry, it can be stress, but those are all choices. And sometimes we don't realize that we have the capacity to change what we're thinking, but it begins there. And as we think instead of the problem, like here I'm, I've got so much going on, I'm so stressed, we don't have the money we need, you know, and I'm, I'm thinking in that, in that frame of mind then it has an effect on my countenance. It has an effect on the way people feel around me. It has an effect on, I believe, what the unseen help can do for me. There is an optimism that radiates from when we choose to believe or when we choose to hope. Sometimes hope is all we can find, you know, but I think everyone can find hope if they really, really try. But to see, you asked, what, does, what activates the unseen help? What's activating unseen help is our thoughts, our, our thoughts, and the feelings that accompany those thoughts. So if I'm thinking, I never have enough, I never have what I need, God hates me, <laughs> he's abandoned me, that's going to cause me to feel dark. It's going to darken my countenance. And I think that has what I imagine is the unseen help just all around me, like, oh, just exercise a little bit of faith so I can help you. <laughs> just, I want to, I want to, but they're not going to impose upon us. If we choose to wallow, they'll allow that. And so how can we activate unseen help to accomplish our goals and to overcome our challenges? Really, it starts with seeing on the screen of our mind what the problem looks like solved. And that is something that I would invite everybody to chew on for a good amount of time. 